Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully segment our all that pages that is a header part, sidebar, main part, that is our EL part and that is our footer part, right? Now I want to do, I want to make it as a clean. Right now that is all that uh, demo data. First of all, I want to change our header. Okay, into this header, that is a menu, that is a mega menu, we don't need this. And the languages also we don't need this that is our full skin okay you can take it that full skin so right now which things is needed i want to take it like that is our header right so now i want to do i want to update our header dot blade dot php you can see uh, how much easily now we can actually segment so whatever the things you want to change it in our header you can change it from to this position like first of all that is our images that is how the logo is missing so logo is missing because of all in our asset that is a backend um asset logo so that is actually our logo and that is i have already updated that asset logo right now that is an asset logo you can see our asset logo is visible so after that there is a mega menu i want to do to simply remove our mega menu total part and that is the mega menu you can see that is one of the dev if you minimize that dev so that is one of the dev i want to do to simply check it you can see when you select this dev that dev is ended so that means that is our mega menu part i simply remove it now if you click as a save all now i want to do and refresh it yeah you can see our mega menu part is gone and then there is our another one as a header language we don't need this actually and that is one of the button i simply remove this button that is one of the form okay that is one of the form for input submit field right now also i don't need this actually i simply remove it and that is our another dev when you actually de delete it better to delete it one by one then that will be very um, interactive like if you select this dev you can see that is also allocated our ended dev now i remove this dev i remove this dev and that is also another um, flag i select this dev and this dev is ended in here you can see that is ended in here that is highlighted in particular that position so now I want to done to remove it so that is a dev i simply remove this dev and that is also i select that another one mm, this one is for web the github the link right so now i select this dev i want to do and to remove this dev i want to make it as a clean actually you can see that is ended in here so now i want to do and to select it simply remove it great great now let's check this out if you click the save all okay if you click the save all now go refresh it hmm you can see it's now totally clean now everything gone and then the notification so i want to also remove that notification area so that is a notification you can see that notification on the dev i select this dev and dev dev is ended dev is ended in which place you can see that is actually our last dev right so i make it in here so that is a dev I select it and then that is actually started from particular that position right so that is position so now I simply select this dev and I simply select this dev and remove it okay so and now there is a button button also you don't need this button I simply remove this button select this dev we started and it in here I remove this dev now click as a save all now let's check this out click as a refresh yeah our notification is also gone okay you can see day by day actually i'm changing it and after that there are some of the images is missing for the profile image i want to update it so that will be the same asset back in folder and i want to do to update it okay so then that will be as asset and the images i cut it and then i paste it now our image should be display click as a save all now if you go refresh it Hmm. you can see image is display as a julie profile wallet everything great and also there is an icon i don't need this I setting icon actually so if you want to remove it that is maybe that is actually the button i want to do and to remove this button that is on the dev i simply remove this dev okay now click the save all now if you go refresh it hmm. you can see it's not totally gone great great now I want to do on to update our sidebar. Okay, so into the sidebar I want to do I want to take some of the menu and rest of this I want to actually delete. Okay, so like first of all that is images. Also you don't need this image because here they have already the profile image. If you want to remove it, now we have to work in our sidebar. 
right into the sidebar here that is the image as you can see that is user details right now i select that dev dev is started and the dev is ended i simply remove this dev now if you click the save all now that should be gone refresh it hmm, you can see it's now gone so i only want to do that is one of the menu and there is a pages menu okay i want to take that pages menu and from the component i want to actually remove everything okay so now if you want to delete it that is our menu calendar i want to find out the pages okay, there is a pages i want to take that pages menu and rest of this i want to delete after the pages then that is actually the component you can see there is a component title and that is our li so now i simply select all okay select all that li mm, here that is our last one i simply remove it and then the li is started that is li is ended i simply remove it okay you can see when you select it there is li is started and li is ended now i remove it and then there is a component we don't need this component i simply remove this component now if you click the save all now if you go refresh it hmm, you can see it's now successfully updated so it's now very clean now there is a dashboard calendar email and that will be all the sub menu if you want to add some of the sub menu you can actually add it okay great and now our main part that is our which page that is our <laughs> index page right and into this index i only want to do i want to take that um, latest transaction and rest of this i want to delete it okay that means here i want to take only the um, that is our true four of this card after that there is email send we don't need this i want to go to our index page right so right now that is in our index and from to the index there is a total sale there is all that is static file if you know a little bit that html css then i hope you already know what exactly the things and now that is our one of the card as a report right so now if you go that is our email uh, send i want to do to change it the email send you can see that is one of the email send and that is actually dev so i select this dev and this dev is ended in here you can see that is ended in here so now i want to do and to select this dev and i simply remove it and also i remove it great and also after that that is our review re revenue uh, revenue um, that is our this year revenue okay that is also another one the revenue i want to turn to select it i simply select it that is ended in here so i simply select and re delete it and now if you select this dev this dev is ended in here so now i simply remove it okay i simply remove it mm, now let's check this out first click the save all now if you go refresh it hmm, you can see it's now gone but there have some of the revenue right some there are the reports i want to do mm, that is actually one of the dev card okay so if you select this dev and that is our call m6 i simply select this dev this dev is ended in here now i want to do and to simply remove it okay and then this dev is ended in here i simply remove it when that dev dev i simply remove it so dev by dev actually when you remove it then that will be actually appropriate now click the save all now that should be gone now refresh it hmm you can see it's not totally gone okay it's not totally gone and that is our latest transactions i want to do and to make it as a total wide okay and that is a monthly earning i want to do and to remove it okay that is a monthly earning i want to remove it so that is our row perfect now there is our row call m8 call it there is a latest transactions and then another one you can see there is another one as a call excel4 so now i select this dev now that is actually our four part as a monthly earning okay you can see there's a march april may the february january and the monthly earning i select this dev and now this dev is ended in here okay you can see there is a ended in here so now i want to remove it i simply remove it okay i simply remove it great so here i want to do now if you click the save all now if you refresh it Hmm, you can see it's now gone i want to make it as a total wide right now 
uh, that is our latest transaction so into the latest transaction there is a monthly report here we don't need this actually i can better remove it and there is a monthly transaction that is the latest transaction that is a call excel 8 i want to do and to make it as a 12 then that will be our total wide right now click the save all now if you go now refresh it now that should be total you can see it's now perfectly into the total wide great great mm, here we successful update and then our footer part into the footer part i also want to change it like there is a footer part it's very easy all the things actually right so that is very easy there is some of the script at the um, this one so right now we don't need any script i want to make it as easy learning okay easy learning and then i make it as a created by easy learning that's all now if you click the save all now go there click as a refresh yeah, you can see it's now updated successfully and also created by the easy learning. Perfect. So right now our total backend team is is very clean, right, friend? It's now very clean. That is our sidebar, and that is our main body part. That is our footer is now updated, and our that is our header part. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So now in our next video, I want to do first of all, and uh, right now I'm already logged in. I want to complete our logout portion. Okay, so logout actually by default that is created. If you go to our route list and do the route list, as I told you before, that is on the route by default created as a logout, and that is created in our auth and authenticated session controller destroy method. Okay, simply we have to now work in particular that area. So how to do this work but i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video